the hell is Blade Ball so popular? This is a question that has been on my mind recently. We know how Blade Ball is popular with it giving lots of money to Big Daddy Roblox over here with a f***ing monthly subscription. Like seriously, you want to steal my mom's money over a clan points pass? Anyway, but why do people even play it? All you do is deflect balls and then you use your ability sometimes and you call it a day. Not to mention that it's a copy of Deflect, then that is a copy of Genji Ball from Overwatch, then even that is a copy of Team Fortresses 2 Pyro Dodgeball. What even is this? So in this video, I'll be exploring Blade Ball and see why this game is even popular. So the first thing I did was to play the game casually, normally, the tried and true Blade Ball experience. But oh my gosh, it was the most boring thing ever. All right, everyone here is about to get smoked. Okay, what is that sword? Stai. I'm not dead. Okay, how do people have fun in this game? Like, how are you supposed to make content? The ball's not coming towards me. I'm not super good at this game. Like, how does one make content on this game? That's my question. Bam. That guy died. Oh, ho, ho, that was a good play. Okay, let's analyze this real quick. The match lasted 20 seconds when I cut up the footage. The commentary was terrible and the gameplay was terrible. People probably already clicked off from this video, so there's that. And most of the video so far was my intro. So after that horrendous experience of a game, I decided to skip the following. Ranked, VC, Pro Servers, and Training. This is because all these game modes are fundamentally the same thing. So the next thing I did was to go to Duels. Duels is a 1st to 3, 1v1 game mode. I've seen people make content on it, so it must be interesting, right? Wrong. Alright, this girl is about to get absolutely smacked. What is that sword? That makes such a weird sound, what? You guys hear that? Oh my gosh. You have 200 wins and you still lose to me. How's that possible? Bam. Okay. This is so exciting, guys. Most exciting thing ever in my life. Oh, that is so exciting, guys. Oh, hitting balls is so fun. Hitting balls is the most funnest thing in the world, guys. Oh, oh, I can do that. Oh, I can do this. I'm like the best at this game, you know? The best. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game. Oh my gosh, I'm so good at this game. It's so exciting. After playing duels, the next game mode is dodgeball. Dodgeball is practically a team deathmatch game mode, except there's a wall in the middle preventing you from going to the other side. How original and innovative. Oh my gosh, how teammates just died already. There's actually no way. And another teammate just died. Okay. Okay, I guess it's just even. Three versus three, huh? Oh, never mind. It's a 2v3. That's my fault. My bad. Never mind. It's a 2v2. Never mind. It's a 2v1. And never mind. It's a 1v1 now. I love this game. What was that? What was the lag? What? As you could see, I was having so much fun from Blade Ball. What was the lag? So, what can we conclude from this? From the gameplay that you just watched, it really wasn't that interesting, especially with the last round with that terrible lag. It's one of those games that you would play once in a while with friends, but that's it. Now, back to the reason why you clicked on this video. Why is Blade Ball popular? If I'm going to be honest, I don't have the answer from just playing the game, which I feel like I should have gotten given how popular this game is all the time. I don't know why people decide to switch to this game for content creation, especially when it's literally the same thing over and over again. But I do have a theory for this. Due to the human mind having a destroyed attention span, Blade Ball satisfies the human's need for dopamine. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Hey! Thank you for watching the video to the very end. It means so much to me and I truly appreciate it a lot. Sorry for the short video. This video isn't really supposed to be a long one, but I at least improved my editing. I don't know what my next video is going to be, but I hope it's a banger. 